We'll begin this part with a dire battle between Sun Tso and Sun Tso. Sun Tso even has the audacity to challenge the insurmountable Shao Hudun. Whether he wins or loses this battle determines the outcome of our war. I made sure to get rid of any desynced issues, so now we can focus truly on a very amazing battle. One of my finest battles, I think, in terms of just seeing how close it was when it comes to our leaders having to engage in any manner of duel. And, all the while, Lu Bu, Sima Yi, and other champions have been conquering the lands elsewhere. But this battle, to me, is very important. I wanted to do something deadly to my enemy. My enemy, who has a very large army. So I began to burn down all of their walls and towers with my flaming shots. Fire spreads, and so more damage is done. We're at 83% sediment destruction. Now they have minus 17 to their morale. Meaning that they'll break a lot easier because of it. And over here, right now, Lonely Lee, the wife of Sun Tzu, is engaging in a duel. Sun Tzu is one of my favorite characters. I actually love Wu. Wu might be one of my favorite factions in this time period. It's actually really tough. I love all of them for different reasons. It might be... I don't know who's a greater love for me, Wu or Wei. I know that Shu Han is definitely below them all. But I'm a huge fan of a lot of the characters under Wu. They're painted as fiery and reckless and young and all of that and right now Sun Tzu is going to duel Shahudun while our crossbows and all of that continue to deal damage to them. Here's a very important battle. Sun Tzu unfortunately died at a very young age, the age of 25. I'm 28 now so I can't imagine losing my life so prematurely. If it wasn't for that, we would have gone down a different route I believe. By 199, he was poised to take over all of southern China. Sun Tzu was threatened by Yuan Shao to the north and was in a very difficult position. He married the daughter of his relative, Zhao Ren, to Sun Tzu's youngest brother, Sun Quan. Or Sun Tzu, I should say. And Sun Tzu married Sun, uh, Sun Bin's daughter to Sun Tzu's son, Zhao Zhang. That's a lot of names to kind of go over back and forth. A lot of family names to repeat. <laughs> but we did it. Alright. So the battle's going on right now. Dong Li won her battle, but we're too focused on a much more important fight. It looks like right now he's losing the battle. I'm telling you, if he didn't die at such a young age, Cao Cao would have had a really rough time. I don't know what would have happened to him, but I just know it wouldn't have gone his way. I cannot believe we got Sun Tzu. I think that alone changed up my entire campaign. Dear God, could you imagine throwing that type of blade? No, thank you. I don't want to leave this duel because of how important it is and how iconic it is. Again, I'm being told that he's being outmatched, that he could lose his battle. It's a very challenging fight between two iconic characters of the time period. We're still using our crossbows to destroy many of their infantrymen. Many, many are dead. So that's how still back over there. We'll do what we can to win this fight. Might even be worthwhile in the future. I saw a mod, a modification, where it wouldn't let legendary characters die in battle. And while I agree with the idea of legendary characters dying, sometimes I wonder if... Oh, oh my god, he won! He beat Shahodun. How much damage did he take? He took a lot of damage. You know how after a duel they regain a little bit of health? So that's how it almost took him out of one hit. Went from 11k to 4.7k. Satsao so is angry. Satsao so wants to kill. Now he's got that buff whenever you have a fallen friend. And he's got a rival here too, so he deals even more damage. The guy is way too strong for any of my characters. We can't beat him on our own. You can see where we're at, though, and how many we've killed. The men are out of ammunition. He's chasing us down. Poor Dong Li is unable to get her mount. In one battle, we brought ruin to Cao Cao's men. Look at how few are here. Look at what little they can do. My god. And I love that whenever you get onto higher difficulties, tactically, the AI will do more. Like, if you're playing on a higher difficulty, and you have a turtle formation, they won't waste their arrows or bolts shooting at it. That's really cool. And I'm glad they added in things like that. It used to be that 
you know, the difficulty only changed up the overall stats. Now it's a little bit more involved. I brought up my men. We're going in now. We've got to go fight South Sound Friends. South Sound Friends, brought to you by a live television. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> I would watch that show. No, he's very angry. He's got a bow, too. A very cool bow. Yeah, you had Yuan Shu, Liu Yao. We had a bunch of characters, I mean, who had a lot of power during this time period. Liu Bei did not have very much. But Tsu Sa would be near Chai Sang and Kua Yiji. Locations like that. So we're moving in now. Got a few bolts to fire still, or maybe they have some arrows. Over here, I'm bringing out my horsemen. All of my many, many horsemen. Sun Tzu's army is fantastic. I just love it so much. I love using it. It's a cool army. Using my Shiliong heavy cav, or my Shiliong cav, they are so damn cool, and they know how to kill some enemies. If I didn't have to have so many armies to cover so much land, I would certainly have fewer armies with more elite units. And I have to wonder at times if I should do that in any way, but because we have to fight over such a large span of land, it's so hard to go down that route. Because we do have to encounter and destroy and defend and parry and fend off and do so many things in, in order to win our fights. So, Sat is at 179 kills. I brought in Sun Tzu. He's at 4.7k health. He doesn't have a lot of kills. He, he doesn't really need a lot of kills. And there's relatively few foes left. I was able to destroy the armies of Sat I still can't believe he won that duel. He was not meant to win that duel, I don't believe. I think that was very close. It just worked out for us, man. I feel like Sat Sao's leaving now. He's like, you know what? Time to go. I'm taking my hat and I'm skedaddling. It looks like we've won the battle, though. The battle's over. We've done it, everyone. Time for us to leave. That's a lot of ruin here. That guy really did twist and pivot a little bit. That's pretty gross. But now we get to leave. The battle's been completed. Luyang, a place of contention. A place of constant battles. Right now, we're engaging Gwoljia, the leader of his attacking army. Over here on my left flank, we're looking at more G militia moving in, led by Lady Beyond, the wife of Sao Tsao. I wonder if we'll get to kill her. Sao Tsao's gonna lose a lot. He lost one major battle to Sun Tzu, and now he fights here. You can see my formation as it is right now. We have archers all over. We're trying to address any type of charge coming at me. We've got Fai Yi, who is now fleeing. He'll probably die to towers as he flees. So right now we have a very important battle where we've got to use every archer that we have in order to win. It's a bright and beautiful day for killing. They're charging in but they're being flanked by enemy volleys. My volleys. My friendly volleys. They're enemy volleys. Over here is Bai Yi who's still at 32 kills. He's at 15k health and he's not looking that great right now. We're seeing another enemy that may die in this battle. A legendary character of theirs, if I destroy them all, they will be in trouble in time. He's moving back in, he's feeling rather brave. He doesn't have great equipment, you can easily tell by what they're wearing. He's got some armor, but not too much armor. There's so much more that they need to be able to do, but as it is right now, they're doing their best. Let's have a look around here. We're looking at archers nearby, we're looking at Bai Yi, who again is at 9.5k health, I'm sure he'll break very soon. Well, Ji is just kind of running around the battlefield, I'm sure keeping his people under control. We have an archer militia group over here that has over 70 kills, they'll continue to get more, they have 11 more volleys left in them. While the UI was hard for me to read initially, there's some like things that I still need to like look over, but I do know most of it now. I think it was just really a case of a brand new game and all that. Let's have a look. My men are still moving into position. And we're still thinning them off and pushing them back. Look, the enemy run. Train them. Looks like right now though, we did get Fai Yi. Fai Yi died. Right over here. There he is. He left in front of towers again. And so he died because of it. Goodbye Fai Yi. He's like, hey! Oh. Right in the horse butt. Fascinating. That's what killed you. A horse butt shot. That's gonna feel lame. So he fell. Hold on, let's get a better look at Fai. <laughs> I don't know why that makes me laugh. It's just... 
<laughs> He's like, well, damn, I'm dead as hell. <laughs> Later, Pai Yi. You did your best, pal. It's some fleeing enemies now. The battle's still in their favor. They still have Lady Beyond who's waiting over here. Her archer militia did not take any shots yet. She's waiting with her mounted saber militia. Lady Beyond, the wife of Cao Cao. Will she live? Will she die? Continue next time on, I don't know, or see you next time, rather. She's got a little war axe. That's gonna be pretty bad. You can't really see what's going on in here. I don't believe. But we're still fighting in one general area right now. And the battle's nearly over. We can fast forward a little bit just to kind of get through this little portion, but we know what's happening right now. It's just waiting for them to come in. And so what I do end up choosing to do in time is to retake a few of my towers. That way, if anyone flees, it'll shoot at them and they'll take more hits. But it looks like they're not really intent on pushing in. I'm very shocked about Lady Beyond. She's not moving in directly. I don't know why. Usually they all move in, but this time she did not. Most of the enemy G militia is now gone. We have one group left over here. They're wavering, but they're about to flee too. You can get a good look at what's happening. We got some archers with no ammo. I mean, archers are good, right? But eventually they do run out of arrows and it's done for. Let's keep on looking. Well, Gia's trying to head around. I've got all these archers over here who have no arrows, but they can fight in melee. They're not very good at it, but they can still fight in melee. And so we fight in melee. Goji is at rank four and he's moving back now. Lady Beyond is just kind of waiting. I'm sure she'll just like chain break eventually. Yeah, there's Gojia. Now we're trying to get everyone to go after Gojia. You can see how I fight these battles out. It gets very bloody in one location. There's only so much that they can do. I mean, honestly, they should just attack other avenues. Of course, in the middle, they would have to hit me on all three sides, and even then. I mean, they have actually hit me on flanks too, but I'm just saying with all of their units, maybe that would do it. Here they come. Lady Beyond charges in with her horse. That was actually a pretty cool charge. She's like, it's time for revenge. Can you do it, Lady Beyond? Ah. Got a really good horse. Oh my god. The enemy unit flees! What cowards! Your mount is terrifying. Fight. No, she's out of here. She's like, yeah, I'm out. The battle's won. We did it. Let's leave. I had hoped to kill Lady Beyond and go Gia, but we did get one of them. That'll work out. We'll take replenishment. One legendary commander of theirs is now dead. It's gonna feel pretty bad. He didn't manage to even take on a garrison. I've become a master of defending the trade port of Luoyang. Over here, we have another major enemy army. They're coming to attack me. And we'll need to fight that battle out too. Let's go in and hopefully win. We'll be fighting here in a very minor settlement. They've got more soldiers than I do, but maybe we've got a shot. Let's find out. The Battle of Runan. We have a limited garrison. But we do have a garrison to defend, meaning that there are choke points, there are towers to use, we have heroes who can fight together. And so they do. We have two duels going on right now. Kong Li is being engaged and Zhao Qian, Shen Yu, and Hong Ming will hopefully win their duels. We'll have two enemies eliminated if they do so. That to me is very important. I like how they're tucked away onto the side like that as if it's not a very important battle. It is a intensely important battle. If we lose these duels, we'll have nothing left. We can have a look right now at what else is going on. We have more enemies on the left flank. Now let me show you what I did in order to limit my foes. Here is one barricade. Here is another barricade, meaning that one entire portion of this town has been completely cut off. I wanted to avoid being hit by their crossbows, so I moved my men over to the right flank. And here is another barricade on the right flank, meaning that we've got to channel our foes into one general area. But I wanted to block off her entire reinforcing army, and I did, and now she can't get to us without crossing more towers, which means taking more damage. So make sure that you use your barricades strategically and tactically, it will benefit you. So now, we wait for these duels to complete to see 
which leaders will stay, which ones will flee. It's an awful fight, but it's one that we've got to win. Man, I would love for there to be even more dueling animations. I think that would be cool. You want to get like expanded animations? Because like none of those things are required, right? They're just cosmetic. I mean, I don't actually know here. It might be mechanically tangible. I don't know all of the math of what goes into a duel. How it's all gauged of what hits, like how much of it is, is actually telegraphed via kinetic hits or if it's just kind of a general movement, but then there's a registered hit. I have no idea how that works. I would love to know if like some dev could tell us how it works. Cause I really have no clue. That was a big stab. Hong Ming is a tough guy. I think he'll be all right. Shin Yu's tough too, but I wonder. He's also fighting a Vanguard. I wonder if getting Shin Yu to duel the other guy would have been better than Hong Ming could have fought the other Vanguard. Things can get kind of risky on Vanguards, man. We don't need to watch anything right now other than what's happening right now because there's not too much happening at all. And I want you to kind of get on the edge of your seat a little bit to know who might win or who might lose. Sometimes I honestly do forget because whenever I cover things in replays, I'll like go to bed if I don't have time that same day to go over the same fights. And I'll forget. I'll be like, what happened? <laughs> I know what I did once I see it, but in terms of duels, oh. Uh-oh. Shen Yu has fallen. I remember now. I didn't want to save Shen Yu. I thought to myself, if he can't afford to win on his own, forget about it. If I'm playing as Liu Bu, I can't save everyone. I've got to do my thing and cause some issues. These two are still going at it. We need some manner of victory, Hong Ming. Dong Li took him out though. Wait, you're not Dong Li. Haha, <laughs> wrong faction. <laughs> I was thinking of, of um, Dong Li because she has the same model. That's over in my Sa South campaign. She's the wife of Sun Tzu. She's a child of Dong Zhuo, which is wild. And he won. All right. Hung Ming won his battle. And you can see how little is left of our foes. They were able to break through those barricades and move in, but they are succinctly surrounded by a mass of my own soldiery, and they will be overwhelmed promptly. There is very little that they can do to match up against us right now. Now we just get to wait a little bit longer for them to truly break. Let's go have a look around here. We Our have taken out Mini. Tong, she's still here. Yore. Tong, Yore, maybe? I don't actually know how to say that last name. I do my best. I try to get close. I try to I land close to the bullseye, but I know they that I won't always no make match. it. But we did manage to take her out. She's been destroyed. Blade in hand, too. All right, well, we did it. Now they flee. Now we get to chase them down and kill more, but the battle is over. You can see how many we've killed since. It was a very close fight. Shin Yu did not die. He lost a duel. I didn't want to pull him out of that. It was either win or die or get wounded. Either way, he's okay. He'll be all right for now. Okay, we're gonna take up more replenishment. Duty awaits. She lost a lot in that battle. They came to fight me while I was woefully unprepared. Well, in their view, I was woefully unprepared. Ah, uh, look at that. A vassal has come to war with me. Feng Li, you now lead that faction. Good luck. A new spy is returning, Murongji. Spy events are happening. What's over here? Character development. All right, he's ready for duty again. Gong is now creative. Well, good. She should be. Two more buildings completed. And what now? Killed in battle. Killed in battle. Yeah, those two died. Huh. 
Okay, what's happening now? Sieges and blockades. Let's have a look around the map. Oh, you're done, aren't you? Yeah, you are very much done. Goodbye. You lost a lot. I'm sure you'll be back, but for now, goodbye. A captured officer. All right, well, let's repair up the town. We owe the people that much. Who joined me? What idiot? 34? Nope, get out. I don't need to kill him. Who would need to do that? Not me. I'm not that cruel. Okay, Jing Chou, come over here to Jian Yang's lumber yard. Now we can take that over too. And so our lands grow more. My god. I assume we'll be able to leave this location, but we'll have all of it under our control. That feels really good. Okay, Lubu. Let's move on down. Jian Yang farmland now belongs to me. A minor, minor faction. Minor location. Victory I have destroyed another victory. faction, man. A it's incredible second. how far we've gotten. We will take it. Dong Shi is now rank 3. Well, good. Act quickly. Okay. We only need that copper mine over to the east, then the rice paddy over to the east, and then we can begin to conquer the lands of Chu and Sao Tsao. So these two won't be done for a little bit over here, it looks like. Welcome, my lord. Your okay. See my Yi. It's time for you to begin moving down here as we've got to go after that town. I'll let you wait there to replenish. What about you, Sun Tzu? Sun Tzu can move over here to the Jiangling livestock farm. Ooh, Gan Ning is here, the pirate. Interesting. He's rank five too. All right. Who else do you have? I kind of want to ambush him. Let's try to ambush him if he moves out. If he doesn't, hey. We'll take care of him. Zhao Yun, 47, administrator over here. Dong Shi, rank 5. Alright, do I have any more resolve to give you? No, I do not. Not right now. No, I don't. Okay, let's go look at who has yet to move. Liu Bei has not moved. He took over Luoyang for me. I want to go after Ying Juan next. Let's replenish a little bit more. I suppose I could move him closer. Hold on, let's see. I'll... I wouldn't really lose too much replenishment. All right, cool. So we'll move about here. Then we'll go to Ying Chun. Then we'll be able to get closer to his capital. Oh, and our powers improve. Who's over here? Ah, how bad is it? We are going to lose this battle. They've got what? Rank four, rank one, and rank five. Chen Mi is quite talented, understood. All right, so we might need a new army to come over there. Understood. Han Zhang, you're another one of my newer armies. Okay. You're just kind of guarding down here for me right now. Is that Liu Kong? No, no, that's no, just an army of Liu Kong. All right, so you can wait. You're still trying to rebuild. That's what I want you to do for now. That's all that you should be doing. Yeah. As we upgrade a few locations around here so these two just need to kind of rebuild let's go rebuild or build up a new army over here to the east i want my iron mine to stay under my control yeah who could we use though what are you 41 not bad a saboteur jingba rank one most of you are not really of merit you want time would be great to have you want Shang? There's a few people I need to promote, huh? Yeah. Seems like it. And there are a few people who do not have a role. Well, he's fine to be here for now. Desires higher court position. Well, if I bring you out, you can come help out too. You are rank four as an officer. That makes you fairly talented, yeah. Wang Jiong. You are not bad, I see. Liu Ba is still here as well. Still trying to help out. All right, let's go look at who has ranked up, who has done a better job at things in general. Precision, Guile, Judgment. Judgment would give more range damage for your units, Dong Shi. And then Shin Yu, you were wounded in battle and that bothers me a lot. I need you to become more powerful in battle. Reach is okay. I'm going to give you instead Zil. 
I need you to be able to last longer in battle to deal more damage and to hit harder or faster at the very least. I think that would be good. Okay, let's go look at what buildings are damaged. Longi for sure. Is that it? Yep, only Longi. I only have two contested commanderies right now. That's really not too bad. So here's, yeah, let's go back to my iron mine. I've got all this money. Meditate. Okay, young man. You now fight for me. Your Lord has returned. Next, we bring up, let's see, Liu. You're rank one. Take you in anyway. Precise. Liu Ying is also here, another commander. Instead, we'll take Lu. I shall not waver. Yeah, come on. I know you're very angry, lack of purpose, all that good stuff. Here's a new position for you. Take another promotion. Alright, we'll give you a follower. Plus your expertise. A new accessory. Oh, there's quite a few that I have, too. Let's find something decent for you. It's largely going to be authority-based. Well, here's a few for resolve, I suppose. Yeah, take that. I don't really have a new blade for you. I do have new armor for you. Well, actually, no, I don't. Oh, no, no, here we go. Ranger's outfit. Very cool. Okay, for a new mount, maybe not. Okay, and for you, plus all of the expertise, I'm going to give you your Marshal G. Here's some decent armor. Noble's leather. Here's your new mount. All right, and your new follower for more authority. And what more am I going to give you? I suppose... I don't need to give you more cunning. You're not really leading anyone who needs that. Take your clay cup. He's like, oh, I love clay cups. Why not? All right, pal. Let's go to expertise. Yeah, that's looking fine. No new mounts. I can give her a new accessory as well. Let's give her something that's, I don't know, somewhat pertinent to her stats. Plus forward to resolve. Ah, yeah. I'm running out of items for once. That like, never happens to me. All right, so you're the one who needs to be happier. You're a chief inspector, all right? And I'm losing a lot of intimidation because I'm trying to make you happy. So calm down. All right, here's a G for you. All right, so now we have a pretty decent group, I think. Let's go look at what we want for each group. All right, let's go take up some medium sword horsemen. Maybe a few mounted archers. Then for her, we're gonna take up our usual. Get some infantry in there. All right, it's gonna be a lot of My infantry. Lord, you don't really have too I much, do you? Let's see, request. do you have anything unique? I mean, to fear and terror, we're looking at tenacity of still, patience, scholarship, diligence, and stability. All right, what do you have right now? You've got adamant resolve, okay. You've got zeal for armor piercing damage. What do you have? You've got mobility, battle running speed, we're looking at stone bulwark, intensity for more charge speed, meditation for being unbreakable, and blah, blah, blah. All right, so I think that'll do it. I think it's a pretty good group. A cheaper, lesser army, but still an army that I can use. Zongfang. Okay, it's my ally over there. I think we did most of what we can do. Let's go build up a few things now. We could sort out by public order, but it looks like most people are pretty happy. So instead, we're just going to go try to make some more money. Yeah. On ding. Get rid of corruption. We're already at 16%. Let's try to get rid of some of that corruption. Bashi, why don't you build a better tool maker? Yeah, more trade influence. Artisan tool depot. And Chang'an, you have nothing for me. Chengdu. Ah, here we go. Famous armorer. Ooh. Small chance of producing unique armor. I like that a lot. Let's do that. And we'll get into our turn. I've worked very hard to get here. Feng Sun Zong. Better come help me. Oh, indeed, he better come help me. I know we have enemies on the way. I'm so, I'm just trying to cover all my bases. I have so much money, but I'm having to spend so much of it on my many, many armies. We've got a lot. Okay, so you're coming to join to fight Wu. You have vassalized Shi Hu. And you've joined the coalition of the Duchy of Chu. Bad idea, Kong Rong. All right, he's not fighting me yet, is he? Feng Jui, a new child. Feng Shi has had a child. That's good. Yuan Shan, born to Yuan Tan. Okay. Lu Ji, a new child for Lu Bu, a new son. And so gained spy events are over here. We're looking at diplomatic reports. Buildings too. We're currently in the year 215. So we're getting a little bit further. Let's get rid of all these events real quick. 
All right, we have time for a new reform. Let's go look at what reform that we want to pick up. That would give me what? Lance Cav. Medium Lance Cav. Okay, minus 8% corruption. I'll take that. Coin minting. And then we'll probably begin to focus on getting like more stuff, like uh, new units. I mean, that's really what I should be getting. But my corruption is now much lower. We can now come down here to Ying Chuan. He shouldn't have a large army. He does not. Good, okay. Let's go ahead and take it. Thank you, Liu Bei. The pieces Liu Bei, you're doing so much better now that you are serving your true master. So, <laughs> all right, let's occupy. We now own that location. It belongs to us. We grow. We are stronger. Pardon me. No mercy. Do you mind leaving? One day, we'll kill you. But for now, have fun. Oh, we captured you. Okay, goodbye. Their belongings are forth. Goodbye, Jia Long. One lady was left losing her mind outside of my gates. That's pretty funny. I mean, sad, but also funny. <laughs> okay. Lu Bu, it's time for you to move. Lu Bu is 60 now, but he's like, eh, I'll kill all of you anyway. Ooh, Tufa has a bigger army over here. Ah, indeed. I'm sure they'll come to attack me, or maybe not. Who knows? Gia Shu, how old are you, Gia Shu? You are currently 68. I miss called Gia. I don't really have too much for you, but you can get a new thing. Fire arrows. Ooh, very nice. Yeah, take that. Been waiting on that forever. Can I get like standard archers? Is it finally time? Defenders of Earth, mounted archers. Heavy crossbowmen. Oh uh, yeah. About well, time to switch it up, I guess. I'm gonna start improving some of my armies. It's about time to get rid of all the crap that I've been having. It's time for me to go heavy with it, you know? Alright, heavy crossbowmen. Liu Bei. Let's give you some different stuff. It's hard to know what to really give you, though. Let's go look at what you have. Okay, stability, we're looking at understanding, we're looking at nobility. Okay, flexibility, stone bulwark, mobility, clarity, hildy hildy, <laughs> zeal, composure, hmm. night battles, I do like that. Perception as well, inspiring words, meditation. Yeah, I don't like the choices the AI made for him. Fortunately, he just, like, he's very good. <laughs> he's very good at what he does. Ye Marksman, oh, that's very cool. Wish I had a few more of those. Okay, we'll go take up some Protectors of Heaven. Maybe not too much for that army. I've already given him it enough, so we'll just keep that for now. Alright, see my Yi. Get ready. Ooh, look at who's close by. Try to ambush. Oh, hold on, I'm not. Yeah, yeah, okay. Can't do that now. Gunning is very strong. We'll have to take him on carefully. All right, what's over here? Corruption. Yeah, you know what we got to do. That's what we do every day, Pinky. All right, my other army, they're still trying to build up, too. So we'll give them a little bit, but then they'll come down here to Longyi to go fight them. I'm sure we might need to retake it, but that's okay, too. We're also fighting down here. Shin Yu, you're not the leader. There's so much that I could do if we could just all push out at the same time. Ah, there's Liu. Okay, that was Liu Kong. Okay, cool, cool. We're so close to the Duchy of Wu. They're close to taking it. I mean, look at how close they are. I mean, there's a big army inside. Li Xian, Yu. Okay, let's see. Zacho. Who hasn't moved yet? You haven't moved. You haven't moved. You haven't moved. Yes, yeah, so these are my three armies who have not moved. We don't need to move more, I don't believe. Let's go browse by public order again. Okay, we're just zapping all this corruption. Minus 16, so I'm at minus 12. That'll put me at minus 16. We'll just take that. Now that's how much freaking public order we have. All right. Luo Yong, you don't really need too much. And Ba is not doing too well. Let's go ahead and... Yeah, they're not really doing too much for me. Oh, well, hold on. There goes a lot of my food. Holy crap. I'm going to need a lot more food. That's what it looks like. Usually I don't. But it's about time to go take some food. Let's go look by... You make me a lot, don't you? I guess I'll begin to improve all my food production. Let's enter turn again. Gong Soon Zan is really pushing down now, though. That's we really cool to see. The line. Okay. 
escalate to alliance war. That we shall. We might lose a few locations, but you know that grand war is about to happen eventually. Oh my god, how many units? Two armies total just came by. What are we looking at now? Sure, I have walls, but we're not going to stay long for here. I think we might even kill more just by doing that. They lost 1,500, so not a lot. I've got to come over there and start kicking some face in. It might be time for Lubu to come back over here and start fighting Kong. Kong has a lot of soldiers and they all need to die. Wait, Wu is vassalized out out? Wow. He liberated... Oh, okay. Good war on me. You have two. That you have Chu is funded peace with Wu. The coalition. Oh my god. What has happened to my life? Rivals, Lubu and Sun Jian. Yeah. That's fair. Oh guys, we have got a huge war ahead of us now. We're fighting like pretty much everyone now. Oh yeah. We're not fighting South South, surprisingly. <laughs> that really changed. <laughs> Okay, all right. We're, we're not fighting South South, but we're fighting Wu. So that's cool, I guess. Stuff happens. That actually gives me a lot of freedom to do other things. Yeah. Kind of a weird one, huh? Okay. To get down here, let's begin to move you. Just come over here. All right, see my Yi? Let's bring you bring you up to the north I suppose we need to go get to Kong she has lands I want oh Satsa would have let me through anyway all right so this Tufa that you have choose over here we got Wu not too far well let's try to quickly get over here yeah there's Chu again Lee down move 57 to Grand Tutor found a Grand Tutor Jin Xiong wow rank 4 23 and very talented Bastion of Fire, he's got incredible armor. Who gave that to you? Anyway, there's Gan Ning. There's another army of mine. Still replenishing. Okay, Lu Bu. Might be time to recall you. Or we let you go fight single-handedly down here. I, I like the idea of like these two fighting together. And just liberating everything down here. I mean, I did want Lu Bu to come back, but... I don't think we have time for that right now. We just we just need to go destroy what we have here. The rivers, man. I love building alongside the rivers. I get to really keep so much land safe by doing that. Okay, so we took over Yingchun. I've got some serious enemies over to the east to take on. I might need to actually recall. Yeah, it might be time to recall them. But if I do that, where will I be exposed? We need to go take Kong Li. So Kong Li needs to die. That's very close to where I'm at. Yeah, I guess we should probably do that too. All right, and Panjong, who's close to us right now? That army is. If we can reach her and take out all of Ding's army, oh, she's a faction leader. Oh yeah, we can do that. Attention! Oh, you're so lucky I can't ambush you here. All right. I am a all of you are ready, but you don't really have a very talented or skilled army, and I'm very worried for your lives if you are not careful. So we'll try to ambush where we're at over here until we can get you some help. We might even lose some more land. If it happens, man, look, it's a big war. I really don't blame you. Okay, let's go by public order again. Just make sure everything's all right. All right, Hane is over here. Let's go ahead and get rid of more corruption. We're already at 49% in that area. Dong Lai, you have that temple that you're building. Dongs over here. It's a few areas that just need a bigger. Let's see. Jiangxia. What do we. I guess we could. 49% corruption is not my thing. I don't like that too much. Let's go ahead and build that. Alright. Bay High. What do you have right now? That's for prestige. I guess we'll go ahead and take the Secretariat of the Commandery. It is Bay High. Oh yeah. Let's make some extra money while we're here. 57% corruption. Not my favorite, but... And over here, more food. And over here, my magistrate. 
the end of turn now. I wonder if we're going to and Zion will move. I probably should have zoomed out and gone to the map to really check things out. Is that a bunch of fish in that guy's back in the lower left hand? I have no idea. Carrying something. Can't really make it out from where I'm at. Liu Dai is now gone. Okay, Kong Rong. That's fine. Sun Ha has been born. Living in harmony. Okay. Some characters are getting along. Despite our wars, many of us are getting along. At least we have a lineage now. Liu Bu has what? Two boys. One's going to be a vanguard. One's going to be a sentinel. Oh. One for each of us. <laughs> All right. Yeah, everyone's having kids now. Is there even anyone for any of you to marry? Not really. I wish there was more people for all of you to marry, but it's actually challenging to find suitable candidates for that. I wonder who's by far the best. Dong Li, Zhao Yun. Sun Jian is very good at it. Oh, Sha Hodun is still very much alive by cunning Sima Yi, Zhuge Liang. Okay, Gojia. Oh, sorry, Gojia. For some reason, I thought you were dead. <laughs> My bad. All right, Lu Bu Sun Sa. Sun Rin would have been great to get. I'll to potentially try to get her one day. Oh, holy crap. Ceremonial Stone Axe. That's incredible. Oh, yeah, I did destroy your faction, and you're still alive. That's a shame. Boo. Boo you. But not Lu Bu you. The Duchy of Chu wants a peace treaty. If I do that, that limits a pretty great enemy for now. That would allow me to go after other enemies like Xi and Tufa. I wouldn't have to worry about fighting them. I could then go after... Yeah, you know what? We should do that just to limit Speak how much up. we're having to deal with right now. Your very presence repulses me. Oh, shut the hell up. Bunch of little babies. Always crying. Well, if someone fights you, I don't want to break another treaty, so let's not do non-aggression packs anymore. That actually got me into more trouble than it was worth. But I will try to get some payments from you. Alright, let's try like 200 a turn. Alright, if we can do that, we can do like 250, maybe. Alright, that'll work. Peace treaty done. Are acceptable. Thank you, Duchess. I appreciate that. Alright. You're dying. You have land. Ding, you're about to die. Do you want to like call it quits today? Do you want to? No, okay. Man, Chu is really done. I can't believe Chu just gave it up like that. So that's how. We fought for a while. You just want a town. You want a small city to small city of Ba. I could just coerce you. Make a lot of money from that. No, I don't want. I don't want to really lose that that much um, intimidation right now. I just don't like that idea. All right, so I've done like most of what I can do. So that's one less war to worry about, even for a little while. That's fine. That's completely fine. I mean, Chu's huge, but that just goes to show you how fearful they are of us. So now we have wars all spread out, but it's not nearly as bad. We can now focus on a few other enemies. Holy crap, there's so much down here to take. Okay, I really want to bring Lu Bu over to go fight Kong, and then to potentially become Emperor later, so... Might be time to recall him as much as I don't want to because it's not cheap to do. We'll just do it for now. And to make sure I have the money, what we can do too, we can just raise up our taxes, get up to 14k, get some more food from them. I forgot we already had my taxes elevated because of how much... Look, that intimidation provides so much extra public order. It really works out very well for me. All right, let's go look at Sun Tzu. Sun Tzu's gonna move over here now. Oh, no, wait, we're not fighting Chu. Right, right. So if we're not fighting Chu... We have other things to go worry about. <laughs> I forgot about that. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. That sounds great. Let's go over here now to the east. Let's march. Be ready to move. Let's move right over here. Order. See my Yi, you too. Be still. And if anyone breaks Not any treaties, my god, they're just forward. incredibly dead. Prepare my chambers. Because I want to get rid of a few of my cheaper armies. I don't like to have armies unless I feel like they really have a role out here. I don't feel like any of them have a true role. In a way that I like. Ooh, you took over. Oh, thank you. Okay, very good. Let's move over here then. We'll move through here and get around. Thank you, Leo Bay. Okay. 
That's looking very good. Panjan. You'll move in a second. Who else is over here? Boom. I am at one again. Shin Yu's rank five. Man, he's strong. You know what? Take that. Lose some expertise. That's okay. Here's well, gain it back, I suppose. I wonder. Hong Ming, you're pretty tough, and I totally get that, My man, Lord. but I kinda wanna I kinda wanna get rid of you. Not in like a bad way, I just feel like we could Welcome, replace you with someone Lord. a little bit more worthwhile. Let's see. Do we have anyone that I like? Murong Jia, I do like him. He needs to be promoted as well. We do have Liu Dai. 69 years old. Very old man. He must have come from another faction. You're 49. You do have some decent equipment. I'm about to hire them anyway just to take their craps from them. Hey man, I could use it in diplomacy. That makes it very strong. Remain dormant. Totally get it, man. I'm gonna promote you. Alright. We'll give you a Jade Archer. Give you one of these blades. Don't really have much more for you. But you can come help out. You're careless, concerned, and competitive. Ooh. Not the best in the world, but we'll keep you here. For the time being, we shall keep you here. Alright, let's go and give you a trebuchet. We'll give you some... Let's see, crossbowmen. You can't have heavies, but you can have standards. Swap unit. Do you like my crossbowmen? Alright. Then for our vanguard... Some better horsemen would be nice. Shiliong cav. Oh, do you love my Shiliong? They are so strong. Well, just a lot of fun to use. I just want a large group of them. Shin Yu, I feel like you could become very powerful, so we're gonna take you. I don't care if you're lame. You are intimidating, receptive, and tranquil. It's very nice, very powerful. Obey okay, Ban Jung, let's go. Show them heat. Moving out. Okay, let's go fight her. She's a faction leader. Another battle happening and two more duels happening simultaneously. What a beautiful battlefield. Let's hope that we can win. I need some victories today. Dong Bao, you're a child here of the Dong family. You better win this fight. Pan Zhang, you too. So while that's going on, we'll be fighting in the woods largely, which can always be very tough because of the line of sight issues that I have, but the AI does not have. So right now we're also taking out some of their horsemen. They'll eventually get a charge off on my crossbows with a group of mounted units. I'm using my trebuchet to deal some damage. We've already taken out one group of archer militia. And on our right flank, I have all of my horsemen who are currently moving in. I have a lot of horsemen. Mounted archers, I wanted to use them to use their flaming shots to cause some fires in the trees to give them some issues, but uh, I don't know if they're worthwhile. They're not as effectual as I would like. Let's go watch these duels now. It's a fairly costly battle. It's a very sloppy battle. I'm the one having to charge uphill. Kind of a tough one for us all. There's so many duels going on, though. My god. We're still waiting. Ooh, some friendly fire from the arrows. Or maybe some hostile fire. I don't really know. But Ban Zhang is a tough guy. I hope Dong Bao is able to win as well. Fight. Show no mercy. I would love it if one of Dong's kids looked just like him. I think that would be funny as hell. Or like, took up some stuff from him, like the goofy ass beard. Oh man, that would be great. One duel over. Ban Zhang won. Now Dong Bao, a child of Dong Zhuo. If only he lived to see his kid's age, you know? It's a close fight. Right now, if we look at it tactically, we can see where I'm using all of my ranged units to attack this one group of Jian sword guards. While that's going on, all of my horsemen are moving in to go after their archers from behind. They're losing right now. I've got some mount mounted archers who are causing some fires, but that's really all that they're doing. They're causing some fires. Good job. They get very few One kills. Step closer to victory. Unleash fury. Oh 
Come on now, Dong Bao. Make Papa very happy. Your ancestors are watching over you. And he's like, I wish I was alive. I would sacrifice all of you to be alive. Dong Bao can do it though. Destroy him. It's crazy though. Your stepbrother is the one who is going to become the leader, or who is the leader? And it's over. We won that one too. There's very little left to the battle now. We just get to charge in and, de and destroy those who are left. It's really just about pushing in our units to chase it over those who are left. But our horsemen are going to do devastating things to them. It's the winter of 215, and my god, we have done so well. Ding is currently leaving. She's moving away. She's shaken. She's fleeing with a few of her own soldiers. And now they break. And now we use all of our range attacks that are left to destroy this last group who's currently trying to harass my group of horsemen who are leaving. And so we dispose of all of them. Okay then. We can leave now, the battle is over. We only have Ding who's still here and we're gonna take her down. She killed 146, she did kill a lot. The Goodbye Ding. Her army is now gone. We restored. lost over 900, she lost over 1900. She was wounded, her two other commanders killed. We'll take 10% replenishment. That entire army has been wiped out though. Very good. Mounted archers are a bit strange. Skirmishers for sure, I totally get that. Let's come up here to our fishing ports. I've got to give you some better units, don't I? Yeah, you need a bit of love. But there's only so much I can give you with your current army format. Very true. Alright, well. I'll give you what I can for now. Take your militia. Change it to more crossbows. I mean, even more trebuchets would be fine, but that's really about it. Alright. Saber militia, that's fine. We only have so much money. No, I'm out. But we shall call it here for right now. When we're back, we've got more warring to do. We're getting very close. Pretty soon, we're going to take over the Kingdom of Wu's capital right over here. And then, good old Lu Bu will become the Emperor. Okay, leave a like, and I'll see all of you later.